Hey, what's up? Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. This is a burning of Prospero 40k or 30k showcase video. So, this is a Space Wolves army, mostly consisting of the Burning of Prospero box set. Um, we got the Wolf Lord himself, Lehman Russ, and then we got a uh, Forge World Legion Tribune um, with a few conversions. Oh, and of course, um, Ariman the Traitor. <laughs> so, um, it's like a mini review basically of Burning of Prospero. So it's the second 30k box set, Horus Heresy box set, that Games Workshop have released, the first being Betrayal at Calth, obviously. Um, and it's just this is like an example of what you can do with the entire box painted in one faction. And again, apart from Ariman, the goddamn traitor. So you can paint pretty much everything as either one. And again, um, it's all subjective and stuff like that. Like, there's no such thing as good or bad or whatever. So it's like, if you're a thousand tons player, Guy Go Felhand would be like the evil one or whatever. So, you get 30 marines in the box, you get 5 terminators, 5 custodies, and 5 sisters of silence. Uh, and then the two characters, so Iron Man on the left, on your left anyway, and um, Guy Gorfell Hand on the right. Um, and then the two additional miniatures. So, Forge World sell a bundle that's got Burning of Prospero included with Lehman Russ. Now, you can buy Burning of Prospero online at around 20% off, which brings it down from like, I think it's 95 quid down to 70 something. So there's no reason why you wouldn't do that. And then the bundle from Forge World is no cheaper. You just save two clicks, um, which is really frustrating for me. <laughs> I don't know why. I get wound up about silly little things, obviously, but there you go, that's one of them. It's not actually any cheaper. It's a bundle in like the the most lazy of ways. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So I'm not sure how many points it'd be in 30K altogether, but of course you've got 30, mini uh, 30 miniatures, tactical marines. You've got five terminators, five custodians. So you could definitely work it out. But the thing is, I did little some little conversions and upgrades on these uh, wolf guard there. So they're painted exactly the same, just using this grey heresy scheme, which came out really really nice. But um, they've got some additional stuff. Like this this guy, for example, has got like a cape, um, um, sort of like stripy cape, and like a little bit nicer. And this this one's got a cape as well. Um, and a few extra special weapons. But what I was what I was gonna say is there's five dudes there, and then for each of the tactical marines, there's an extra sergeant. One there, and then there's this dude here with a thunder hammer, and this dude there with the um, plume and then a power sword. So if you did want to with this army, what you would do is you could run it in like several configurations, like you would have um five wolf guard. 10 tactical marines, 10 tactical marines, 5 tactical marines, all with the sergeant. Or you could have, um, how, how many would it be? 5, 6, 7, you could have 8 wolf guard and then 17 tactical marines. 10 and 7 or 5, 5 and 7 or whatever it is, you know what I mean? You can do whatever you want. And then similarly with heavy weapons, in the box you get 3 heavy bottlers. So, uh, what was the other 2 in fact? Where are you at? A heavy bottler. Yes, yeah, so there's one there, and then one at the back, just there. So if you wanted, you could have a heavy support squad with a sergeant, three heavy bolters, two plasma guns, or whatever. Uh, there's a melter gun somewhere as well, at this one. It's got a melter gun. So if you wanted, you could have five wolf guard, a heavy, uh, you know, a legion support squad with a sergeant, uh, three heavy bolters, two plasma guns, and a melter gun or any combination of those things on not have a sergeant or whatever you want. So actually within the box, even if, like, forget about magnetizing, forget about the, the build of the army itself, like the individual um, weapons, fine, because obviously with the sergeant he's got a plasma pistol and you could have a bolt pistol or whatever you want. But forgetting all of that, within the army itself, because there's so many miniatures, obviously there's several different combinations of the squads. So that's really, really cool. And that saves you a load of time and stuff. But altogether, like, you can just have them you can run them in several different ways, which I thought was really pleasing. So it's pretty much an example of what you can do with the box. So it's just it's just amazing value for money. Mark III is a pleasure to paint. Um, and that's it. So, again, somebody let me know. If you know, let me know how many points it is um, to run this entire thing. So five Tartarus Terminators with an auto cannon, power sword and Volkite Charger. There's the um, Custodes with the swords and spear, uh, shields and a Vexilla. Five uh, Sisters of Silence with one, is it one flamer? Yeah, one flamer, four ball guns. You got 10 dudes, five wolf guard, and another 15 dudes. There's three heavy bolters, two plasma guns, one melter gun, and then the sergeant, so just there, you can see the war gear, um, with Russian stuff, because like, I bet 
for very very little money there you've got like 1500 points quite easy and it's fine two rhinos and you are off to the races so there you go so that's it that's my little mini review burning a prospero amazing amazing value and like i said if you pay more than one color you can you just offer you a few little conversions um, and obviously these wolf guard bits um i add from my personal like bits collection if you want like some of them weren't included in the box but very few of them so there it is um super impressive looks awesome and um yeah 76 quid for that entire lot minus rust obviously <laughs> And the uh, the Praetor, the Tribune. So apart from that, uh, yeah, please let me know how many points that'd be, depending on sort of how you ran the squads and stuff. Because I bet you get fifteen hundred points for seventy six quid. And I bet, I mean, how competitive of an army would that be as well? Like, I don't really know. I don't really play thirty k. So again, let me know in the comments because uh, that'd be badass. Like, if that's a feasible army, including two rhinos, then there you go. So that's it. So again, there's a load of hasty pictures on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash powerhouse miniatures. And uh, that is it. There's a load of videos on my YouTube page now. Loads of little showcases and a few different review videos and stuff. And I'm hoping to do quite a few more review videos, like interact with people a little bit more. So that's it. Um, as always, really appreciate you watching and have a good one.